You're watching Self Love Through Beauty with Jessica. Subscribe. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Jessica here. And today I'm going to be showing you all how I wash my mini twist. I am using the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. I love the nozzle at the top. It's super easy to help get in between and get all of the corners of my hair. So I'm using that and I'm actually starting on dry hair. Yes, that's right. I'm starting on dry hair before I start putting water on it. And that's just going to make sure that I really get my scalp because it is twisted up. It's going to be hard to really get deep down. So I'm just massaging that in. And make sure you get those edges because that's probably the most build up area because we're using like edge, edge controls and things. All right, so now it's time to rinse and cleanse. So massage it as you would your regular shampoo. Use the tabs of your fingers. And just really try to get in there and get a really good cleanse in there. So many twists can last you up to four weeks. Washing in between is super beneficial and you wanna make sure you do that even with protective styles. So go ahead and rinse that out and you're gonna scrunch it out. And this is my hair right after the shampoo. So it's looking pretty good already and I'm super excited. So actually I'm not using a deep conditioner. I'm just going to use a leave-in conditioner from Sienna Naturals. Next time I'm gonna test out the deep conditioner and see how that does. But what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna take each section and I'm gonna run my fingers in between and in the scalp with the leave-in conditioner. So get that all the way in there, work it in there, make sure there's no residue that's left in there. Cool, cool. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing all around y'all. Each section, sections are so great for making sure you really get the product in there. And I'm gonna do some scalp treatments. So I'm gonna start with the Rosemary Scalp Spray. I'm gonna spray this all around. And I do get a dry scalp, so this helps when I'm wearing protective styles. Keeps my scalp from being too itchy. So this is optional for you. And I'm also gonna use the Tropic Owl Hair Growth Oil. That's just gonna use on my scalp. And I'm gonna massage both of these into my scalp to help it penetrate. And now we're gonna go back to sections and start adding some of our styling products. So I love, love, love the Influence Honey Almond Styling Foam. I get that from Lovely's Hair. And it's great for just about every style I do, whether it's a protective style like this, a wash and go, like everything. It is the key to most of my natural hairstyles. So make sure you stock up on that. I'm almost out and I'm ready to go ahead and stock up on more. So the first layer is going to be the styling foam. And just work that in and smooth it the way that you want to, to try to get rid of some of the frizziness. And so the next step is I'm gonna use the Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. And that's something that I used when I put these in, so I'm just gonna use those same products. And I'm gonna take some and I'm gonna do the praying hands and just swipe that in, make sure that I get the tips and the ends and rub it all the way in. If you wanna go through and get individual strands, do that as well. All 
right, so now I'm just going to go around and I'm going to do that in each section. Now for my top front sections, I'm going to take the first row and I'm actually going to redo those twists. So I'll use those same products, the foam and the gel, and I'm just going to redo those because those are the ones that mess up the most and to help give it a more cohesive look. And as mentioned, the mini twist can last you up to four weeks with proper care. If you want to keep a protective style and not have to add any extra hair, this is the great hairstyle for you. Now, I will say it does take some time. This one took me five hours, but thinking about how long it's going to last me and how much shorter wash day will be, I'm all here for it. So I'm just going to continue going through and finding out the ones up top that are super frizzy. And you can just pick and choose which ones you want to redo around the top. I'm not going to do all of them, just the top as you see here. Alright, and now on to the rest. The back, I'm literally just doing the foam and the gel. I'm not doing any retwisting back there, but there may be some that I find that I might do later this week. So section by section, make sure you repeat those same steps, praying hands, however you want to mix it in. And the same thing on this top front side, I'm going to apply the foam and the gel to the rest and then we're going to redo the top twist. And before the natural hair police come, this is the process that works for me. I'm all for people trying it, but again, use what works best for you. Mind you, think about how long your wash day is, y'all. How long is your wash day? Let me know in the comments because mine can take three plus hours. This is 30 minutes and I'm down for it. So when we're thinking about washing our protective styles, you actually want to make sure that you blow dry your twist or your braids or whatever you're doing after you have washed it. Because what we don't want is a mildew smell from wet hair that's not dried in between. So we just want to go through each section and try to get to the roots and make sure that they're dry. We don't want stinky hair after we just washed it, y'all. So don't waste your time. Make sure you use your blow dryer and try to dry as much as you can. You can do this on cool or hot, whatever works for you. And I'm just going around and I'm going to do the same thing in each, each section and make sure that I blow dry. As y'all can already see, the twists are popping, baby. Okay. And now I'm going to use the Camille Rose Moisture Milk. And that's just going to seal everything in after I have blow dried. And again, my infamous sections. Sections are so, so great for all of my processes. And I love to do them. So same method, praying hands. We're going to take each section and just mix that all the way in. We don't want to leave any residue. We want it to hit every single strand. So I'm just going to do the same for each section. Finish it off with the Curl Love Moisture Milk. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see this hair? Wow, 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 wow. I cannot believe that after wash day is still looking fantabulous. So I'm also going to use an edge control. Again, this is optional. I just didn't want to have my fuzzy edges. So yeah, this is what I'm using. BB Beauty, um, Beauty Source. They have an edge control. I found them on TikTok actually. So I've been using them faithfully and I'm going to use that on my edges. You do your edges however you want to do them. I don't have baby hairs, so I'm just smoothing mine. <laughs> 
And of course, we're going to wrap it up, make sure that the edges are laid and slayed. You want to keep that on for at least 10 minutes. Longer is better so that they're really set. And one more set of the honey almond styling foam just over the top. We want to try to get rid of any frizz that we can without having to redo the whole head. And I'm just going to take the blow dryer with my scarf on and I'm just going to put some heat on it. Now it's time to unwrap and unravel. And there we have it. Looking mighty good and mighty fine. And I'm going to use the Cocoa Nibs Hair Oil by Camille Rose just to make sure that my edges are not crispy and crunchy. Okay. We want the edges to be nice and smooth. There we go. And there you have it. Wash day is complete with my mini twist still intact fully. And this is going to last me for a few more weeks and I'm super excited for it. Make sure you subscribe, like, share to our channel. We're going to be sharing much more hair tips and tutorials. Anything that you would like to see, let us know in the comments. And let us know if you like this video or not. Also, make sure you're following us on all social channels linked below. Have a beautiful day, loves.